What's going on everybody, this is Ashok, and I'm going to try to keep my composure in this video. I'm a very chilled guy. None of my real life friends have actually seen me legit mad. I'm dead serious about that. But this one thing right here, <laughs> it genuinely pisses me off. And that's when gamers do not read the articles. They look at the headline, they take the headline for what it says, and then they comment. They reply to something they haven't even read or they take a misleading headline. Guys, we live in a day and age of misleading headlines. We live in a day and age, we live in a generation of gamers who only read the headlines and don't even read the actual article. We'll have gamers that will comment on an article without clicking on it and we also have gamers who will actually take an article, make a video about it, link it and not even read it or not have even comprehended it correctly such as a certain predator we have in this community right bang bang for instance let me think oh the Sakurai article right the headline was Sakurai says Smash Bros is a fighting game that quote was nowhere in there you see what I'm saying the, the Wii U watchdog situation the guy said maybe close to the current gen, people say, oh, he confirmed it's close to the current gen, right? But the real spark of this article, those are just two examples, but what made me do this video right here, right? I just published an article on Gaming Realm. For those who don't know, that's the site that I write for. Also, check out Pertil.co, which is my site. Anyways, I write for GameRealm.com, and I just published an article saying, Microsoft employees caught playing Mario Kart 8. Now, of course, I sent this to Twitter, I sent this to Facebook, and I sent this to M4G. And what do I get? Why is this a big deal? Why is this a thing? Shokyo, this is bad that you would report something like this. It, this there's, no, there's, not, there's not a problem with this. Why is this a bad thing? And do you think any of these people actually clicked on the article? No. Because if you would actually read the goddamn article, you would see that I did not say it was a big deal. You would see that I actually said the opposite. Let's actually read the article, shall we? Mm, you know, that's kind of the point of articles. They are meant to be read. If you actually click on my article, once you read the headline, Microsoft employees caught uh, playing Mario Kart 8, scroll down a bit, you'll see. Now, while this may seem ridiculous to most people, and some hardcore Nintendo supporters may laugh at this and make snark comments like, even Microsoft employees don't want to play their own games, let's all keep a leveled head and realize that oh because somebody works for a company does not automatically mean that they are a fanboy of that company. Someone could be an avid Nintendo fan but land a job at Microsoft. Anyways it's always cool and intriguing to see some employees from rival companies playing each other's games um, playing each other's games. If they can enjoy other systems why can't we? Bam! That's the article. It is a 117 word article. People can't click on it and read it. People are saying Shoke why is this a big deal? Why is this a bad thing? You see how if you read the article, you could have saved yourself from making a dumbass, stupid ass comment. And this isn't just to the people on Facebook. This isn't just to the people on Twitter. This isn't just to the people on N4G. This is for everybody. Everybody watch this goddamn video. People in the YouTube game community, I plead of you, start reading articles. Because headlines can be misleading whether or not they're intentional or unintentional. They can always be misleading. Read the articles. That's it for this video. I will see you guys later. God damn it. Peace.